Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Here we are, about to celebrate the fact that the world didn't end by making a pumpkin pie. I can't think of a better way to do it. I really can't. This is going to be amazing. And, what's more, I get to eat the whole thing. Usually I only get half of it, where Helene gets the other half. We fair like that. Let it not be said that Lumen the Adventurer is not fair. Now I've got all the ingredients right here. It doesn't need very much. Let's go through them. Eggs, we're not going to use all of these. Don't worry. Coffee, that's not part of the ingredients. That's just to keep me going. That's, <laughs> that's the recipe. <laughs> it says pumpkin, which is over there in the microwave. Evaporated milk, here. One cup whole wheat flour. Okay, that's that there. Straight up, easy. Couple of eggs. That's it. Couple of eggs. I don't know how many eggs. That's all Eileen gave me. She said, oh, put a couple of eggs in. You should be okay. Bit of milk. That is so good. That's the best way of measuring. Just a little bit of milk with the evaporated milk. Teaspoon or more of cinnamon. <laughs> now, knowing Eileen, it's probably going to be or more, not just a teaspoon. She loves her cinnamon. That's the cinnamon over there. It says ground cinnamon on it. Okay, so that's there. Then half of that, nutmeg and ginger. That's the nutmeg, and that's the ground ginger. Sugar, half cup. Now, the sugar is obviously not necessary. I don't need to put the sugar in. I might not even put a half cup in. We'll see. I could. The sugar is right here, brown sugar. It's not unhealthy in any way, having sugar in there. So... Maybe I'll do it. The thing with pumpkin pie is that you can have it as sort of a savory thing or as dessert. So if you want it as dessert, you can just sprinkle some sugar on top. That's it. That will sweeten it for you. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult doing this. I'll admit that right away because I'm, going to be able, I'm not going to be able to do all of it with one hand. So let me get this out here. This is messy. I can already see that this is a mess. I'm going to put it on my recipe. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of my recipe. Now, we need to mash this up in here. I'm just going on what I can remember. Because I was here when we made it. We made it together once. Now, I'm going to put you down here. And hopefully, you can see everything that's going on. Come. Sh chill. Chill. Okay. Can you see here? This is where the mashing is going to occur. Down here. That's it. Let's do this. Let's mash us some pumpkin. Get, get, get. Oh! That is looking so good. I love pumpkin. Put it in the bags. We have to keep it clean in here. I have to keep it really, really clean. When Eileen comes back, there can't be a mess anywhere. Although, it's still like a good two and a half weeks till she gets back or something. But I need to keep it clean. I need to keep it clean while she's gone. Here we go. Doing us some mash. We've got to get right up in there. Yes. Beat that down. Bam. Aggressive mashing. Adventure mashing. I should copyright that or something. I really should. Wow, this is mashing really quickly. I could probably even do this with one hand. It's not difficult in the least. Have a look at that. That is looking really good. That's some pumpkin mush right there. Now, I think everything should be able to fit in here. But I'm also not entirely sure. Now, I can't throw the egg in first. The reason for that is because this is really hot. It just came out of the microwave. If I throw the egg in right now, it's going to solidify immediately. It'll pretty much cook when it touches that pumpkin because it's, it's really, really hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the flour in first. I'm just going to mix this around a bit to make sure it's okay. <laughs> I'll put the recipe below for anyone interested, but that's pretty much what it's going to look like. I am just warning you. I, we don't have a real recipe for this. The way we figured out to do this was, I was going to make, and this is now just, just me, not Helene, I was going to make Helene some pumpkin pancakes, and that just didn't work out. I was left with this big slosh that I made, and then I thought to myself, well, why don't I just throw it in a container like this, in a dish, throw it in the microwave. We've got a microwave that can do a combi, which is a combination between normal microwave and grill, so I did that, and then it turned itself into a pumpkin pie, miraculously, and I was super impressed. 
And since then, we've been making pumpkin pie like that. Like you would make pumpkin pancakes. So, that's mushed up enough. Now, it's really easy getting the flour out because I can probably just do it with one hand because I can just scoop it here. There you go. That's going to be one cup. Perfect. I'm going to toss that in there. I hope I'm doing this right. I really hope that I'm doing this right. Now, is that it? One cup whole wheat flour. That seems to be it. Now I'm going to mash it a bit. Here we go. Make sure it mixes up. Maybe I shouldn't be using the masher now. Maybe I should get a spoon. That might be a good idea. It doesn't make sense using the masher to stir it. Let's just get like a biggish spoon. Is that going to be okay? There's the big old school mixing spoon. Maybe I should use that. Wait, there might be another one. There's an even bigger one here. That's too big. No, you know what? I'm going to go with a normal spoon like this. No, you know, that's too small. Okay, what am I thinking? <laughs> that's not going to work. Where's the old school mixing spoon? I lost it. That is crazy. Wow. Looks like real silver to me. Is it? Is it silver? It's probably just really old stainless steel. I don't even know. No, it says silver there. I see it. It says silver. Okay, that's what we're going to use. Get this out of here. Wait, you're going to have to chill for a second over here again so I can clean that thing. Stay. Stay. <laughs> okay, this is happening. This is happening whether you like it or not. Not smelling that good just yet. <laughs> it's okay. It'll start smelling really good when I bust up in here with the ground cinnamon. Don't you worry. And all of that is going to go in here soon because I'm going to put all the dry ingredients in first so it can all just try and cool the pumpkin down a little bit. This pumpkin needs to chill, quite literally. That's crazy. Now, I can actually get the flour out of here because I'm not going to be using any more of that. Although if the consistency isn't right, I might need to add more flour. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure I'll know if the consistency is right or not, but we'll have to see. We'll see when the time comes. So I'm going to mix this up real good. There we go. Now, I think it might be a good idea to throw the evaporated milk in. And look at this tin opener. Okay, so I, in my lifetime, have used many different can openers. And this one is by far the most effective. I just clip it in there. Turn, 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 turn. It's not like one of those camping ones, those old school ones where you have to like... Rah, 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 rah. Man, I've used one of those before and that is not pretty. So that's it. Done. Now, look at this. Just, just have a look. Look at it. Can you see? It looks like it's still closed. It does. But somehow, this thing manages to open. Now, there's this funny little clip thing there, look, look at it, it's like a little mouth, feed me, feed me, tin lids, you be quiet, you be quiet, so, you clip that in there, like that, and then you just do that, and it's open, this thing comes off clean, there's no way you can cut yourself on here, uh, well, I suppose there's always a way of hurting yourself, but it's, it's really neat, really really neat and you can actually pop that back on there now this stuff is amazing I don't know if you guys know what evaporated milk is but ah it is so so good it's going straight up in here I don't even care <laughs> okay it's in it's in I hope I'm doing this right there you go wow look at that now we need to mix it up I hope hold, I'm, am I holding you right I'm holding you right okay I need to mix this Make sure I don't splash it on my phone. Make sure I don't drop my phone in there, man. That would be a disaster. It really would. So, this is still looking... Well, not still. It's already looking kind of sloppy. But the eggs are going to keep it together. They're going to hold it together. I'm probably going to end up throwing... I don't know, three eggs in. I, I think three should be okay. I'm, I'm missing with the camera, aren't I? I'm probably missing the camera. This is looking really good already. That's the color I want. That's the color I want from my pumpkin pie. It's going to get even better when I start throwing these spices in. Is cinnamon a spice? I think so. If not, it should be. Now, that is looking really good. So, 
Let's make sure we've got the recipe right so far. I don't think I'm going to need the bit of milk. I just don't see that happening. A uh, teaspoon or more of cinnamon. Okay, we're going to do that now. We're going to throw the spices in. I don't really know. A teaspoon or more. Should I get a teaspoon? I'll get a teaspoon. There's one in my coffee. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Don't want to make too many dishes, you see, because I have to wash them myself. So I'm going to use what I've got here. Okay, I'm going to open this up. It's got a little, a little sieve thing there, but that's not going to work. I want a teaspoon. Oh, and the teaspoon fits in. Now, she said teaspoon or more, so we're going with or more. There, it's like a heaped teaspoon. Ooh, cinnamon. Ah, get in there. Get up in there. Now, half of that of the other two. Now, before I... I'm going to put this right back in my coffee. There we go. You know, Helene's favorite type of coffee is just normal coffee with some cinnamon in. That's what she does. Now, my spoon is clean. That's how you clean your spoon. So you get the L cinnamon off your spoon. Perfect. Now, this is the ginger. There you go. I'm only going to put in like a half a teaspoon. That should be fine. I'm going to show you what this all looks like when it's all in. And then the nutmeg. I don't know. I don't know about the nutmeg. I will just do it right here, like this. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get on that spoon, nutmeg. You can do it. And then Nero. Nero's here. He's watching me. He says, Daddy, that's probably not how Mommy does it. This pumpkin pie is going to be terrible. Boy, you don't have to worry about it. Just don't worry about it, okay? I'm making it for myself, so if it's terrible, I will have to be the one that suffers through it. Not you. Do not worry. Now I can show Nero to you, because I know you want to see Nero. What's happening, boy? Ah, let's sit down. Come. Come here. Come, my boy. Come to me. Mwah. Oh, it's very nice. That is very nice. Are you having a nice day? He says, yes, daddy. Yes. Oh, 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 nice neck rubbles. Ooh, very good. Very, very good. Man, I'm going to have to wash my hands now. Again. There you go. That was a very vigorous neck rub, wasn't it? Okay. Not that near as dirty or anything, but I don't want any hairs in my pumpkin pie. So, there you go. Just a quick rinse. This is it. This is it. It's time. Going to stir all of this in now. Just have to make sure I can get the camera on it properly. Get up in there. Wow. Now it is smelling amazing. You know, sadly, they haven't invented the smelloscope device yet that you can connect to your YouTube or whatever. But if you guys could smell this, it's really good. Really, really good. Absolutely amazing. Now, that's mixed up in there. The next thing I need to add is... Probably the sugar, and then very last, the eggs. Hmm. Now with the sugar, I'm probably just going to go with... I don't know, how much should I even put in there? How much sugar do I feel like today? Half a cup? Half a cup should be okay. I don't need too much. There you go. That's it. As I said, I can just add sugar afterwards, and then I'll be happy. I'm sure I'll be fine. It doesn't need to be too sweet. I can dig the savory pumpkin pie. Yes, I can. Done and done. Egg time. <laughs> These things. Man, I am terrible at breaking eggs. So I'm going to try and hope for the best. You know, I dislike it so, so much getting shells in the pan when I'm trying to fry an egg and I always get the shells in there. They always end up falling into my pan. So I don't want them in my pumpkin pie. Play along egg. Play the heck along. Wait, let me just close these up first. Now how do I know which lid goes where? This is the cinnamon one. Here we go. Look at me. Just knowing where things go. I'm a genius. Some sort of genius in the kitchen. But this is it. Time. That's it. Okay. You gotta be confident with the eggs. That's what it comes down to. You gotta be confident. You have to really smash them up in there. Because if you just give it like a half tap, a little baby tap, then it's gonna 
half crack open and you have to like wrench it open with your hand and no one wants to do that no that just makes more problems see there that's how you do it that is how you do it tips from master chef lumen <laughs> no, that was a bit too hard <laughs> okay now i need to wash my hands again because they are incredibly slimy that last one like bust open all over my hair clean here quickly just gotta clean a little bit Hopefully he's watching this. Okay, perfect. Now, I've got to mix this up. This is looking so good. So, so good. Have I got it all in here already? I think that's pretty much the last that I needed to toss in here. There's nothing else. Good. Jolly good. Let's do this. Mix it up. Then I'm going to toss it in there. I... Imagine one could throw some, is it spray and cook? I don't know. I remember, uh, you could spray some spray and cook in there, but I remember there being something in here that would make it not stick. But if you let it cool off before you try eat it, then it doesn't stick anyway. It doesn't. So you're going to put it in the microwave now on the combination setting, but I'll usually put it in for about... 10 to 15 minutes on the normal setting first to make sure the innards are done properly and then you put it on the combination setting which grills and goes on full power so I'm hoping it doesn't stick I just can't remember what do you usually put in to make it not stick we've got all sorts of stuff here in the cupboard hmm it's not gonna be the gelatine <laughs> is it not baking powder either that's gonna make it rise oh some vanilla essence would taste nice. That could be my secret ingredient. No, no. I'm not that brave in the kitchen just yet. I'm not going to be tinkering with a tried, true, and trusted recipe. I shouldn't do that. That's probably on someone's no-no list. Some famous chef. Don't do your research in the kitchen. <laughs> no, the kitchen is not for experimenting. I'm sure someone has said that before. And they're probably right. So, that's it. I'm not going to worry about it sticking because with the combination of the eggs and the eggs and the eggs and the other stuff that are in here, it's probably not going to stick that much. And if it does stick, who cares? I'll just eat it right out of that thing. I can't remember what I put in. I know there's supposed to be something in there that makes it not stick. Hmm. Helene neg neg neglected to mention that. She didn't tell me, so we're just going to have to go with it. We're just going to have to go with it. Have some coffee there. That's it. We're done. Nero's had enough of this old pumpkin pie thing. All he wants, this is a really big jug of pumpkin soup. Now get up in there. Get up in there. That's good. Look at it. Wow, that is so yummy looking. He agrees. My oh boy, I've got something else for you for later, and it's not pumpkin pie. I apologize about that, but you know, pumpkin pie isn't for dogs. Well, you know, the chances are this is actually probably quite healthy for Nero. Dogs shouldn't have too much milk, but pumpkin is very high up on the good things for dogs. Pumpkin is really good for dogs. But there's milk in here and the spices and stuff might not be too good for him. So he's not going to be having any pumpkin pie, sadly. Uh, I do, however, have some chew stuff for him. I got a hoof and a knuckle. Here we go. Get that out there. Now we have to actually lick the spoon. That is not written on the recipe, but that's one part that I have added myself. How? Oh. Yes. Yes, I like it. It actually tastes quite good. Now, the proper taste, the real amazingly good pumpkin pie taste comes when it's been cooked. So, I'm going to put this here. By this, I mean you guys. Don't, don't fall over. Do not fall over. Then I'm going to go all the way over there to the microwave and pop this in there. I'm going to open it first. I don't have a mishap here. This is really heavy. This is a big pumpkin pie. 
I'm not joking around when I make pumpkin pie. No, no. Go walk or go home. That's what I say. Now, I'm going to go for, let's say, 15 minutes on normal. And then I'm going to put it on the combination mode, as I said before. And I'm probably going to be sitting around here watching it. Maybe I'll play something on my phone or whatever, just to make sure it doesn't overflow. It generally doesn't, but I'd rather keep an eye on it because I want to eat properly tonight. Right, my boy? We keep an eye on it. You and I. You and I. You and I. Mwah, 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 mwah. You're very nice today. You are very nice today. There. He's very nice every day. I'm not even joking. He is actually quite nice every day. I would go as far as to say very nice every day. Now, let's clean up. There's not much cleaned up that needs to happen. I've got a cloth right over there for emergencies. The tin will go in the recycling. I'm not even going to rinse. No, you know what? I'll rinse it out. I don't want no stinky tins in my recycling. This is going to go straight here. There aren't that many dishes. The dishwasher has just finished one load, and there's a couple there. But it's not so bad. We've got to pack everything away, though. Okay? That's the number one rule. And then close all the cupboard doors. That's the number two rule. Ta-da! It's gone. Wow. That goes there. This goes back in the drawer. Wow. You are a handy piece of equipment, aren't you? Get in there. This I might keep for future use. You know, I don't actually need it because I kind of know how to make this out of my head already. Put these in the bin. We're doing good, hey boy? Mommy would be proud. Really proud. Put that in there. Wow. Look how fast I'm cleaning up. This is not even going to get washed. Maybe it will, else Nero's going to lick it. And that's it. Now we just need to use this nice little cloth over here to wipe everything. Look at me. Being all responsible and stuff, you can just stay on the floor, pumpkin. That's so good. I'm proud of myself right now. Done. Sugar needs to be packed away. <laughs> Flour needs to be packed away back in the darkest reaches of the cupboard. Wow. <sighs> what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to stop the video, and I'll start recording again in about 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes time, when it's getting closer to completion. Don't go anywhere. Wow, that just looks so good. It's about 19 seconds, 17, 16, 15 left. And then we're going to take it out and have a proper look at it. I think I put it in the microwave for about 25 minutes. 10 of them on the normal microwave setting, and then about 15 on the combination grill slash microwave mode. My boy, don't be creeping around in the cupboards. You know mommy doesn't like that, okay? He is so unimpressed with me right now because we're supposed to go for his walk. He's had his dindins, as you no doubt saw, and he's impatient. Boy, the pumpkin pie just finished. 
So what I'll do is, I'll take it out, I'll show it to everyone, and then I'll probably talk a little bit longer, put my shoes on, then we can go. How does that sound to you? Does it sound good? Yes, my boy. Don't worry, okay? Do not worry. Mwah. His Christmas presents are in that cupboard. He probably knows. <laughs> Just wait, boy. Just wait. Christmas isn't that long from now. You'll get them soon enough. But let's have a look. I'm going to put you down right the heck here. I hope it's not wet or anything. Because that would not be ideal. And then I'm going to get this baby out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it out here for a little bit. And then in a little while, I'll probably put it in the fridge. Now, you can eat this as it is really, really hot. Like right now, I could probably cut a little slice out here because it's solid, okay? It's even, I want to say a little bit crispy on top, but that's not the right word. It's a bit harder on top. I made this without a crust on purpose because, in my personal opinion, the crust on a pumpkin pie is just an extra that you don't need. The best part of a pumpkin pie would actually be the pumpkin mix, not the crust. Crust's probably going to be made from some sort of cheap biscuits or something. I don't want that. Do you want that, Nero? No. You don't want that either. So I didn't make a crust. Crustless pumpkin pie is a thing. At least in this house it is. Now, as I said, go to let it cool. Then when it's a little bit cooler, you'll be able to cut it better and it won't stick as much and stuff like that. And if I'm going to be having it for dinner, then I probably won't put any sugar on it or anything like that. But if I have it for dessert, I could put sugar on and then later, if I wanted to, I could just heat a piece up if I wanted it, you know, warm or something, which I very much doubt I'll do because it is very summery here right now. But wow. And it smells so good. I need to think of a cheesy line. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, one, one's coming to me. It's coming to me right now. Hold on. The world may have ended because it smells like heaven in here. I just slapped my knee because that was amazing. My boy, that was really good. Thank you for helping me think of it. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. He says no problem, Daddy. He said that with a lick. Hey, those little lickies. That's how he communicates. Why is there a little spot? Oh, I got it off your nose. Okay, never mind. But that's it. That's how we make pumpkin pies in this house. It's nothing super special, but it is very healthy. If it wasn't healthy, Mommy Helene wouldn't allow it in the house. So there you go. That is it. Don't you be sitting here right now. You're not getting the pumpkin pie and you're not getting your Christmas present early. But Daddy, it's Friday. Maybe he will get something. I wasn't planning on recording anything huge tonight, so maybe I'll give him a hoof. He'll probably like that. It's actually up there. There's one hoof up there. That's not his Christmas present. I'm going to be talking about his Christmas present and perhaps a few others, which are in that cupboard and on that table over there in the next vlog tomorrow. I'm going to be vlogging every day for the next couple of days, so you guys can check back here soon for that. The pumpkin pie... You know, I could cut it. Maybe I'll cut a little piece of it quickly to show you what it looks like. But it's, it's not the best idea to do it right now because you usually want to wait for it to solidify. We're going to use the pink knife to do it because that's just how we roll. Ooh, ooh, wow. Wow, that's good. That's really good. Nero says, well, Daddy, I can't see from down here. Bring it down to my level and I shall judge for myself. Those are the size of the pieces that I'm going to be eating. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. Let's divide it again. As I said at the start, I'm going to be able to eat this whole thing myself. So, I think I might be a little bit sick of pumpkin pie by the time it's done. Wow, the consistency is perfect. I got just the right amount of eggs in here, didn't I? I think if you put too many eggs in, then you could possibly ruin it. But there you go, I pulled a little piece of this little top skin off and you can see the color down there. And you can see that it is, in fact, solid. Let me get a teaspoon out of our little teaspoon holder there. Look, it's solid. That's solid. And once it's frozen, not frozen, but cooled down, it's going to be so, so good. It's going to be ready for serving. Now, if you want to be unhealthy, you can have it with cream or something like that, maybe custard. I'm going to have it just like this as it is 
I said before I might just sprinkle some sugar over if I want it for dessert. To make it that bit sweeter. But that's it. Check back soon more. Most importantly now. Happy making pumpkin pie with me, Lumen, and Nero Puppy. Happy that.